Hello right bags, it's Jade. Welcome to Open Country, available now on PlayStation, Xbox and PC. You can go and try it out. This brand new survival game, it's got co-op in it. It's made by a small little team that have done some ports in the past for other survival games to console. So I'm looking forward to this one. For some room to move around. Lifeless buildings and skyscrapers everywhere. This is my home for most of the day. My cue. Nothing but cold numbers and paperwork. I feel trapped in a concrete jungle, and it's slowly draining the joy out of my life. I used to be happy and free. Nothing beats the open country, the poetry of the wind crafting a rhyme on every tree and mountain, the applause of the leaves celebrating harmony. I won't find that in here. I'm done with this rat race, wasting my best days sitting at a desk under fluorescent lights swapped in paperwork. I don't know what happens tomorrow, but I do know I have my two hands and the open wilderness. I'm home, the open country. Here we go, open country. You know, it's a small little studio. Obviously published by 505. Uh, we'll have to see what's going on then. It's like hunting. It's got survival. You've got a doggo that you can have as your pet. You can see the malt cloud there as well. Let's take a look at the settings. I'm just going to turn the music off just because here. Yeah, I imagine it might catch something going on. All right, let's dive into single player. Okay, so I could choose male or female. Okay, pretty, pretty basic, but you know, at least it's something. Yeah, let's go with that one. And boom, straight in. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hello. What brings you around these isolated parts? I've been, I've on, the been on the road for a while, for a while now. Oh no! Remember, I am playing a little slight early access version of this game. As a recording though, this is like the day before. Okay, so there we go. We'll just get through that uh, and see what's going on. Okay, so it's third person. I don't think it's first person, but I could be wrong. Obviously, there's people we can talk to, I guess, to get missions and stuff. Talk to Gary. Okay, there we go. So we've got the package. And then I guess we just we just head on up stairs so i was different maps right summer is the best time to explore and enjoy the meadow hills with its green rolling hills and extensive forests it's perfect for a long hunt or simply a quick hike green roof ranch is where you go for atv obstacle runs if sightseeing is what you're interested go to the grand lake dam the oasis or the toad swamp to visit and explore there's hunting for big game, buffalo, pronghorn, antelope, small game, armadillo, badger, fox, squirrel, porcupine, whitetail, jackrabbit, birds, and lots of predators like black bear, bobcat, coyotes, and wolves. All right, all right, all right. Wow. It's a pretty, pretty expansive area, then. I mean, look, that's the size of it. That's the, that's the playable map, is it? Whoa, that's huge. Absolutely huge. Okay. Okay, right, here we go, then. Uh, we've got an RV. I've got an RV. I can interact with it. Oh, that'll just take us back to where we've got to go, basically. Right, okay, fine. Uh, we've got a backpack, bandages, right, okay. Weapon rack, the fridge, the trunk. Oh, snow ridge items, okay. And my wardrobe. Oh, you can change your wardrobe. You can get, earn stuff for it. That's pretty cool. Oh, you've got different colours as well. Like actual proper, like, uh, you know, camouflage. That's, that's, that's decent, okay. Then got temperate and then you got cold out for it. So three different slots. Okay, that's all right. Yeah, it looks like it does more stuff as well. Right. RB to view the current objectives. Reach the camping location. Okay, where's the camping location? Uh, open the map menu. Right, there it is over there. Okay. So add a marker there. We'll zoom right in. So we we'll go past the ruined cabin. Zoom out, reached camping, run, right. Then we've got the missions. Then we've got bushcraft. So you craft by getting the resources, then just choose what you want to craft inside. So spears, hatchets, the usual kind of stuff. Stomach digestion treatment. Oh, damn. Okay. Antiseptic. So it's a proper survival game. Fishing pole. Health. Backpack. Skills. Okay, there's a bunch of different skills like sneak, resistance damage, resistance to cold, hunt chef, outdoor metabolism, 
intuition. Okay, that's all right. That's pretty simple. Okay, let's go. Use your compass to orientate yourself. Right, so it's, it was kind of to the west, weren't it? I'm pretty sure it was to the west. No, it's to the east. So we want to go that way. Okay, the marker's on the map as well. And we can run. It's pretty colourful. It's pretty nice. I said, I'm not expecting too much from this. This is like a small company. They did ports for Stranded Deep as well as Unturned. They're a small, like, Romanian company. They've, you know, they're doing their sort of job over the years. They've done lots of ports for lots of companies, uh, games over the years. And they maybe made their own games a good few years ago. But, yeah, I think this is probably their biggest project they've had in, in quite a while. Oh. Is that a dead tree? Can we pick anything from it? So I'm just, I was just picking up this quite a lot of like bushes and stuff. I should use the walkie-talkie to contact the ranger. Right. Open a toolkit. So, walkie-talkie. Hello, Ranger Ainsley. Are you there? Ainsley here. I've been waiting for you to make contact. I need you to set up a camp in the area. You should find plenty of wood and materials. I'll call you tomorrow and give you further instructions. Over. Wow, I'm not only delivering the package. I'll get on with setting up that camp then. Now I'm build now I'm building a base. Right, okay. Craft a boat. Oh my god, right, it's all popping up. It's all popping up. So we need leaves. We've got to get a branch and a hatchet. Um right, pick up items using B. Oh look, there's some branches. Yeah, it's all highlighting. Cool. Get a couple of these. And then we just need the hatchet and the knife. So these are the lake ruins. I've got a log pile. I just pick it up like that. Nice. Got live bait as well, apparently. Right. So let's, um, I guess, take a look at what else we can maybe pick up. Right. Did it say, uh, uh, I need a hatchet and stuff. I can't do any of this stuff unless I get a hatchet. Oh, there we go. We can make a, a stone knife and a hatchet. There we go. Boom. And then it was... I'm pretty sure it was an improved bow drill. There we go. Improvised tinder. Right, we need more branches. Okay, well I've got my axe now as well. Can I use the axe? Is there a button for the axes? Okay, right, it's in backpack. So we'll equip. We'll equip that. And I guess we'll do the bow drill as well. Right, it's had to what? Just D pad? No, okay. Water flask, light, binoculars, flashlight, okay. Maybe I've got to put the item directly in my hand. Okay, so you can only have one, one at a time. Okay, so now just chop. Okay, so maybe it's, oh, it's got to be like a proper tree. No. Okay, maybe it just wants me to do more branches before it'll let me go actually a bit mad and chopping stuff down. So I'll just follow exactly what it says. Right, improvised tinder. There we go. Pick up the knife and hatchet found on the table. Oh, I didn't need to make one. Where's this table? Oh, it's over there. I'm, I'm in the completely wrong spot. Let's go over to this side. We'll just keep picking up some resources as we go. I don't know about that clicking. I might have to turn that off. It's like every time I pick something up, it's like ding, 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 ding. Oh, look, it's loads of gear. God damn. I've got loads of knives, loads of stuff. I'm weight. I think I'm overweight now. So, I've got backpack and stuff, so I could put that in there. Move to storage. There we go. I don't think I'm going to be using too much of that stuff so far. Um, I guess we don't need two knives. Got more supply box stuff. Oh man, I've got loads of gear, loads of stuff. No, that's the supply box. Right, okay, that's that's the loot. That's just like an extra point. Ugh. Tarp, okay. So we need branch and a log. Okay, I'm pretty sure I've got all that stuff. I'll need one. I'll need eight branches. 
Right, let's go and get some more actual branches. Can I chop one down? No, not with just a hat, little mini hatchet. All right, maybe not. So I've still got to just go and look for the branches themselves. Cloth loot crate. No, we don't. We'll leave them alone then, because we don't need the actual cloth at the moment. I need branches. Where's branches at? There they are. There we go. Right. Press Y and navigate to push craft to build a camp. Do I build it inside? Now, it's not like full base building in this game. It is kind of more just like little, yeah, campfires and stuff. Yeah, right. So, I don't think we can really build it inside here. So, we're going to have to find a little spot outside. Oh. Oh, yeah, on the hill here. There we go. And then start the campfire. Oh, it's been built. Okay. Can rest and upgrade. I can get a leaf bed, leaf log bed. Yes, yeah, do that one. Boom. I quite like that. Does it over time? Tarp cover. I'm sure we've got some tarp. Yeah, let's upgrade it now. Too lot we might as well. There we go. Let's save our game. Bosh. Oh, we need quite a lot more to make an actual outpost. Right. So it wants me to do the bow drill ignition. So we need improvised tinder and the improvised bow. I guess, did I put the tinder inside? I must have done it. Did I not improvise tinder? I swear I'd said that. Yeah, there we go. I've got one. Okay, ignite the campfire. Ignite, bow drill, or oh, we could do flint. There's different ways of doing it. Okay, that's all right. Then we can upgrade and do stuff. Campfire grill. Cool, 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 cool. Add fuel. Yeah, we'll add a we'll add a couple of logs to keep it going. And pear. Oh, we ain't got any meat yet. Grilled mushrooms. Right, we need mushrooms and and branches. Okay. Some more branches. Right, running back up. Let's go and uh, grab that. I'll get some more mushrooms. Cooked mushrooms at the camp. There we go. And we can rest now as well. Okay, so we can rest like as many hours as you want. So f just a few hours. Might do like a... Um, all the way around. Oh, you still got to keep warm. Okay. Let's do then. And it's that time. In open country. Hello. Are you there? Sorry for the abrupt awakening. That's all right. Here's a packet. Thanks for taking Oh, you look like a zombie dude over. then. So you're the ranger around these parts? Yeah, that's me. Ranger Ainsley. You know, these parts are beautiful and may seem quiet, but it can sure be busy work. It sure is. What brings you around these wilds? I just needed to get away for a while. Get away from the daily routine. I feel like I haven't had as good a rest as last night in years. I understand. You know, seeing as you're set for a change of pace, I could use a capable hand to help around. I'll reward your help, of course. You looking for a partner? Yeah. You could say that. How could I refuse a ranger? All right, then. Glad to hear. I'll be around the Snow Ridge Lodge later. Check with me, and I'm bound to find some work for you. In that case, I'll see you around. Excellent. Well, I got the head off. Duty calls. Take care, partner. Oh, there's my grilled mushrooms. So I've got that as well now. Okay, cool. Can save again. Save over that one. Yep. All right, there we go. Have I even delivered the package yet? Was that was that what I was doing? Just just running rounds now. Am I just just surviving and shizzle? Oh, we've got a critter. Oh, it's an armadillo. Uh, 
I mean, I can't even um, chop trees down yet. Return to the lodge and talk to Gary. Okay, right, here we go. So I guess we could gather, um, take our resources with us. There's a few bits more we might as well try and take. Oh, I'm carrying too much. All right, we'll drop, we'll drop some of this stuff then, I guess. Yeah, there we go. I'll, I'll take the maximum I can with us. Right, I guess we head off back to our RV. Can we put the fire out? Like, I don't want to leave a fire burning in the forest. It's not a good look. Can't get burnt on it. Okay, that's good. I think we might be able to just travel. No, maybe we can't just travel. Or well, maybe we can. No, we've just got to go uh, west now. Back to the RV. Okay, so we've got to get meat. Okay. Got 10 skill points out of that. Oh, that's good. So we've got some money too. Got rifle ammo stored in my backpack. Nice. And I've got a rifle. Oh, I've got a gun. Okay. Be cool if there was like some mini games you could do here. Um, I guess, yeah, we go to one of these places. Actually, I think I meant to talk to him again. I think it's gone one of them ones where you've got to just go back and talk to him over and over again. There's the copper. Oh, maybe not. Hello. Hello. <laughs> you gonna play some music, son, or, or not? All right, let's go up top then. Uh, can we go to any one of these places? Doesn't look like it. Not yet, anyway. So this is back to, oh, this is a new spot. Oh, come on. There we go. Alright, I've got my new weapon. Alright, can I put some stuff down? What else can we drop? I'll, I'll drop this. There we go, that'll do for now. Right, um... I guess... Take a look at the map. Oh, there we go. There's the hunting spot there. So we can go back to our little our little camp area. Doesn't look like I need a bit of water, actually. Let's use the water. There we go. Perfect. We're all good. We're just about the right kind of temperature as well. Yeah, let's go. We'll take the version back to the camp. We'll dump some of this heavy stuff off. And then we'll go and look for whatever kind of a hunting game there is. Yeah, there it is. So far, it's it's unfussy. You know, it's pretty it's pretty arcadey, but I quite like that. I'm not big into hunting games and stuff. Sometimes a bit too much simulation, but this seems this seems all right. There we go. Right, okay, let's roll. So we are heading south. To the big game. Oh, look, there we go. How do we get this gun out then? I've, I've got a must have it in my backpack and then do it. No, I've already done it like that. Yeah. There we go. Press up on the D pad. Okay. Well, I had my chance there to shoot some critters. Let's get a bit closer to where it wants us to go. We'll check it out. Then aim and hold breath and to shoot. Okay, right, we've got to find something to shoot first. Oh, there we go. Oh, deer's running. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, there's loads of them. It's loads of them. Oh, there we go. Oh, no. I just shot F Hazel and Fiverr. Uh, where, where's the... There we go. We've halved it. Oh, good. It's not, like, overly dramatic. Although, I feel like in a game like this, you kind of do... Should have, like, an animation that shows you actually harvesting the creatures. But okay, whatevs. Right. Just just a bit more. 
But I don't know what the mission actually was. I don't know if I was. I, I had to shoot them. I was just a bit more. Um, oh, there is a little bit of aim assist as well. Oh, look, there's a deer. Oh, he's gone behind that hill. Did I get it? I did, I got it and all. There we go. Well, okay, I, I failed there with the quick shooting. Now, where was the, uh, the, the body that I just shot? Oh, I lost, I lost my nerve. Did I get it? I don't know if I shot that or shot or something or not. Yeah, I did. There we go, we did it. What is going on with this? Just a big mad rock. Okay, right, is that it? Now what I'm doing? Return to the lodge. Okay, let's go. Oh, some sort of stoat or something. That's a fox. Hey, I got it. Third shot lucky. There we go. Oh no, I've got too too much killing. Oh, is that like a butterfly or bats? Maybe I can put some skill points into weight. Yeah, there we go. Done. There you go, I'm going for the sneak skill as well. And we'll do the outdoor metabolism. First slower as well. There you go, I've just put my money on being a better chef and don't need as much food water. And of course being able to carry just a little bit more. All right, we're back. Let's go back to the ra the large. Gonna have to do some horrendous uh, American voices. Deep South, y'all. Something that ought to get done. It certainly does. Is the gist of it. I need you to head on down to Green Hoof Sanctuary. It's an old place which used to be used to offer shelter to injured wildlife and the likes. It's been sold off to a new investor, and I have some supplies left around there. I need you to head on over there and gather them up. Are these supplies easy to carry? Well, no, but there's an ATV parked up down there. Take it for a spin around Green Hoof and load all the supplies you can on the ATV. Drive them back to the front of the sanctuary and I'll take care of the rest. Hmm. Well, all right then. I'll get on it. Wonderful. I'll be waiting here for when it'll all be done. And here we go. We are going to be doing good. That is pretty much the first day of this new game. You get the idea. Now, there's a lot more to it. There's different places you go, like Tumnus Valley and Snow Ridge. But I guess we've got to unlock some of it a bit more. And the Snow Ridge Lodge. Uh, it's pretty big. I mean, I think they're all within this map. I don't think this is like... Like, we're going to go over here and it will be the Snow Ridge Lodge up in the mountain somewhere. The snowy biome sort of thing. 
but you never know, this could all be just literally Mellow Hills. So that's a huge playable space to run around and do some stuff. So yeah, I like to say I'm not really one for um for games like this. It has to be said, I'm not one for hunting. Um, even though it's part of most games, you know, uh, it's just something about more just hunting specific games. I'm not. I'm a big snowflake. What can I say? I feel like you should only hunt if you're gonna eat the actual meat. You know, you, you, you're actually going to do something with it. I can't stand trophy hunting, that's for sure. Um, but I like this idea, and it's got, obviously, the survival elements to it as well. And, yeah, the creatures can attack you. And we get to do a bit of fishing, and there's a bit more equipment to use and stuff. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to this one. Uh, it is a little bit a little bit janky, I ain't going to lie. First impressions, off the cuff. But, yeah, I still think it's pretty decent. So, uh, I'm going to give this another shot. Let me know what you think about it, guys. Until next time, as always, the home of survival. I'll see you rat bags later.